Since taking office a little bit over seven months ago, uh, my administration um, has responded to this humanitarian mission with the full force of government. Um, we have roughly 15,000 people living in shelters, temporary shelters here in Chicago, um, nearly 27 shelters uh, total, uh, 4,500 children in our Chicago public schools uh, system providing health care, um, and also making sure that um, we are screening individuals as they come through the city of Chicago, uh, providing, again, on-site uh, vaccinations at all of our shelters. And this certainly has been um, a remarkable challenge that my administration has had to face, and quite frankly, a challenge that we are experiencing all over the country. But let me just say this and make this very clear. Um, what I have said repeatedly is that we have to have coordination. Since taking office, we've had an uncoordinated approach. And what I've worked to do, instead of having chaos, is provide some structure and calm around this situation. And without significant federal support, um, this is not sustainable. Hello, family. Welcome back to another episode of Journey to Harmony. I'm your host, Richard Harmon. I welcome you back to the everyone's favorite meme, uh, Brandon Johnson. Brandon Johnson is the mayor of Chicago, and he is going on a, a, a continuous rant about how he doesn't understand why there's not enough coordination um, in terms of the migrant crisis. So, so right now, the Chicago um, is kind of feeling the pain right now as they are receiving migrants on a daily basis, bus loads as well as, um, you know, plane loads as well as uh, people on the trains. Um, Greg, Governor Greg Abbott has decided that he's going to send migrants evenly throughout the country. New York City was the first to receive. It received over 160,000. Denver is now being populated as well as Chicago. And uh, the mayor of uh, Chicago continues to be annoyed by the entire process do do mostly for the fact that he just doesn't really want to accept any more people um he sees himself as being the czar of chicago and he's upset a little bit about the whole process that's happening right now the migrant crisis continues to worsen as we're continuing to set daily uh records in terms of people coming and crossing the border um this is what is being reported not exactly of what is not being reported so again there's people who are being detained and there's people who are not being detained as sliding directly into the country and this is going to be causing an issue here shortly so i'm going to play a video we'll watch a little bit of this well what i'm what i mean by uncoordinated you know what governor abbott is doing um is quite frankly it's reckless you know i had a delegation to actually um go to the border and see firsthand um, the challenges that our bordering states and our bordering cities are experiencing right now. And what I've called for repeatedly is, again, a coordinated approach between state and local municipalities so that we can address this crisis. As far as what the federal government is doing, look, I've said repeatedly that we need more resources. And I've asked for $15 billion for the entire country. I know I have congressional delegation, a congressional delegation here in Illinois that has asked for $10 billion. Um, look, the technical support that we receive from the federal government, we appreciate that. Uh, work authorization to put people on a pathway to sustainability, I certainly appreciate that. And without real significant um, investment from our federal government, it won't just be the city of Chicago that won't be able to maintain this mission. It's the entire country that is now at stake. But in no way um, what the state of Texas is doing um, is helping the cause. As much as we recognize that there are challenges, significant challenges at the border. And we do need real substantive immigration reform and policies that allow us um, to have a structure and a pathway um, to citizenship. But again, sending buses all over the state of Illinois and all over the country is reckless and quite frankly is dangerous. I met with 80 mayors just last Friday um, to have a more coordinated approach for the state of Illinois along with uh, county officials. That is what is required in this moment, a real sophisticated coordination while also pushing the federal government to provide the resources and support so that we can actually sustain this mission. Anything short of that, um, quite frankly, is reckless. All right, perfect. So there it is. You have it once again, uh, Mayor Johnson. He's going out of his way to make sure that he talks about coordination. Um, when he speaks about coordination, what he's basically saying again, you give us time to figure it out and then we'll come back to you later while Texas is bombarded. Um, Texas does not receive coordination. They receive uh, 10,000 people at their border every single day. Um, you know, he had 70,000 people per week. Uh, you know, 300,000 plus per month. And that's just that's just what is being caught. People who are turning themselves in. There are other people who are who are navigating different parts of the border and they're sliding in undetected. 
Um, so again, these are just official numbers. There are definitely unofficial numbers that are likely closer to the 7 million, 8 million overall in the last two or three years. Um, and they, this is this is only going to increase. There is a huge migrant uh, crossing that's currently going right now. I'll put that, that fifth photo up here for you. And many people are sitting now worried about how is this going to to last what's going to happen uh president president biden again is yet to make an official response to this Can you imagine the president of the united states is being um just yes yeah <laughs> however you wanted to put it like you know like he's completely being negligent of responsibilities uh you know if any other person if you were to go to a different country and you were to try to cross the border uh you'd have some serious issues with you there so um what are your thoughts on this please comment below like share and subscribe thank you so much for joining have a good day